In this lecture snippet, I want to focus in on the default hashing utilities that Ubuntu has already installed. And so to begin with, I just have two files on my desktop. They are actually the file one was created and then I copied it and named it file two. So there should be identical files. And we're going to go ahead and look at the utilities to see how the hashes actually treat these files. And so I'm going to go ahead and begin by navigating over to my desktop and then that's where the files are currently located so that's why I want to be in this current directory and we're going to begin by running the md5 sum command and we're going to go ahead and do it first for file 1 and I'll hit enter and you'll notice that the output this is the 128 bit output for the md5 hash is listed right here and you can see that it says file 1 so let me go ahead now and I'm going to do the same thing for file 2 so md5 sum and then file Two. And you'll notice that the outputs are identical to each other. And I can see that that one and this one are completely identical. And so let's go ahead now and make a change to a file and see what happens. So I'm going to open up this file and I'm, all I'm going to do is actually just put in a space at the end of that period and I'll hit save. And just that space alone will change my file completely when it comes to the hashes itself. So let me go ahead and go ahead and redo the MD5 sum for file 2 and you'll notice that this hash is completely different than the hash above it so just the smallest slightest change within a file will change that hash value now a lot of times we don't want to be working with all the hashes left in the terminal and we'd rather have these be outputted to a text file of some sort to be able to store them all so I'll show you how to do that I'm going to go back to the md5 sum for file 1 and this time I'm going to go ahead and use the greater than symbol for a redirector at the end of this command and I'm just going to go ahead and say hash.txt and I'll hit enter and you'll see on my desktop it'll pop up here automatically it redirected the output from my command to this hash.txt file and it's stored in there and so now let me go ahead and do the same thing for file 2 and you'll notice that file 2 will be in there but rather than just the greater than symbol I'll need to append the data to the end of that information that's already in the text file so I'll need to put two greater than symbols from this point on to continue to append data to this file and I'll go ahead and hit enter and you'll notice that both of these hashes now will be listed in a text file and I can see how different they are from each other with just the slightest change we can also do this with all the other commands or utility options that we have built in for hashing. So for instance, SHA1, I can do the SHA1 sum and I'll do that to file 1 and I can redirect that to the hash.txt and that'll put in the SHA1 hash and we can see what that looks like and that's the 160 bit hash that we have for SHA1 and then I'm also going to do the SHA256 so 256 sum and I'll do the same thing for file 1 and then I'm going to redirect that over to the hash.txt file and I'll go ahead and open up this hash file that we've got now to look at all the differences between them so we can see that the first two that I did this was the differences between file 1 and file 2 and you can see now the slightest change is there I did the SHA hash, SHA1 hash on file 1 and you can see that it is a little bit larger in size it is, which, which is expected because it is a larger val hash value and then you can also see that SHA 256 is even larger but this is the hash value for that particular file. Now I also want to do a algorithm and show you guys that you can hash a hard drive or a partition as well. So I'm going to run sudo and I'm going to do the fdisk-l command to take a look at the different disks that are available on my hard drive and I want to do the partition SDC1 which is a flash drive I have plugged into my computer and I want to see the hash value of this partition so what I'll do is in the terminal and I'll go ahead and uh, let's see quit out of this I'll hit clear clear that screen I'm gonna go ahead and do the same command we've done MD5 sum and before I run this command I have to remember since I'm dealing with a device rather than a file that I have permissions for I need to run this as sudo so sudo MD5 sum and then I'm going to go ahead and do the forward slash dev forward slash sdc1 that was the partition that I wanted and I'll just go ahead and redirect that over to that hash.txt file that I'm working with so I'll go ahead and hit enter 
and it's going to take a little while. You'll notice that it doesn't happen as fast. When we're doing something like a hard drive or a partition, it does take quite a bit longer, and so I'll just have to wait until it's finally done with this particular partition. And it took about two to three minutes for it to run that two gigabyte flash drive, but I do now have a hash, and I can see that I've gone back to the terminal prompt. So let me go ahead and open up the hash text file that we have. And you can see that the file has been opened up here. I do have a MD5 hash, and you can see that the length of the hash as compared to the MD5s that are above it, and it's on the device SDC1. So this is the basic operation using the utilities that are already built into Ubuntu for hashing.